Welcome back everyone. You may have just gotten your Android phone and for some reason you got some random pop-up like this. Either it looks like this or something like this or whatever the case is and you're freaking out because you may think you actually have a virus on your Android device. Now what I can tell you is, is that although it is a little bit more common to get some malware on an Android device over an iOS device, it's still pretty much few and far between. And if you have a new phone like a Galaxy S20, S21, Pixel 4, whatever the case is, your chances of getting a virus go slimmer and slimmer as the software gets more secure. So you probably don't have a virus, but you may be asking yourself, dude, I keep getting pop-ups like this all the time. Well, in that case, what I would tell you is, is the easiest fix is, you know, determining which website you go to. Sometimes ads will look like this. I know some crazy websites, you might just get a pop-up like this. Even sometimes you may go to like some APK downloader website and you get pop-ups like this. It's totally okay. Now on top of that, what I would recommend doing at that point is whether you're using Chrome, the stock browser here, you want to go into your tabs. So you want to find out where your tabs are and you pretty much want to delete all the tabs that you have in the background in your web browser because you may have just exited out of that one little pop-up, but it may have put a little random you know website in the background. So every time you boot up your web browser, it pops up again. So you want to go ahead and clear out all your tabs in the background. So right there, as you can see, I cleared out all my tabs and you probably will be good to go. This is the easiest fix. You probably don't have a virus on your device. And this is the number one thing that anybody, you know, who is in this position, I would recommend doing. Now, on top of that, if you downloaded a you know, specific app through the Play Store or something like that, you should be good to go. But sometimes I have seen people actually download APKs on their device and install them as I do all the time, but they download them from random websites that may not be super reputable. And that APK file may actually be you know, you know, know, full of malware somehow. Now, first of all, I'll tell you, if you don't know what that is, then you're probably good to go. You probably can just skip to the next portion. But if you downloaded a bunch of APK files and you notice your phone starting to glitch up or it's starting to do weird or it's starting to move by itself, I would highly recommend you to delete that specific app that you just installed and then notice how your phone is, you know, going. Is it overheating still? Is it being weird? Do you think it's a virus? If it's, if you still think it still has a virus, then the next thing I would recommend doing at this point, which is the second batch, which are a little bit more things you can do, is downloading some type of antivirus software from your Google Play Store. Now, this is one that I found that's like the highest rated, but you can literally just type in antivirus software, just virus like I did, and download one of these apps. Once you have it downloaded, what you want to do is you want to find that specific app, and I don't even know where the app downloaded at right here. You want to open it, and you just want to scan or go through your whole entire device. So I'll go ahead and click scan now. I'm going to go ahead and allow it to go through everything, make sure I'm good to go. And sooner than later, it probably will tell me. So it says no issues found so far. It's going to go through the whole entire thing. And as you can see, it went by pretty fast. And it's going to tell you if there's any issues, if anything super critical, and it'll go ahead and fix you for me. So it probably, so it's found one threat. And funny enough, it's actually that local Roco APK, which is so funny, I can't believe it you know, did that. So I'll go ahead and click resolve and I guess it'll go ahead and fix it for me. And there we go. So downloading something like this can actually help you out and help eventual threats, you know, go be taken care of. Or if you have a threat right now, it can go and fix it for you. So that's the next thing I would do. But ultimately, if you really do think your phone is super compromised and it's just full of malware, or you really think your phone is corrupt somehow, I would highly recommend you to back up anything you can manually. So photos, messages, you know, app data, anything you can that you can back up manually. And then at that point, I'd recommend you to actually go ahead and factory reset your device, but only after you go ahead and back up everything and you make sure that it's not just some other random, you know, thread that you may have had. That's the number one way you can go ahead and rest assure yourself that you probably don't have a virus. So you wanna hop into your settings after you go ahead and back up everything and and you want to go into your factory reset settings. So as you can see for me right here, it is right here. I'll click here, factory data reset. And you want to go through and just basically factory reset your whole entire device. And that's probably the number one thing you can do in this specific situation. So that's really pretty much it. A couple ways to go ahead and fix your Android if in case you have a virus, almost said iPhone. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything else I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.